నమస్తే ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ ఏ శ్రీనివాస్ కుమార్ సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ కార్డియాలజిస్ట్ డైరెక్టర్ కార్డియాలజీ అండ్ క్లినికల్ రీసెర్చ్ అపోలో హాస్పిటల్స్ హైదరాబాద్ వెల్కమ్ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్ టు ది సెవెంటీ థర్డ్ యాన్యువల్ సిఎస్ఐ కాన్ఫరెన్స్ అండ్ వి కంగ్రాచులేట్ డాక్టర్ బెనర్జీ అండ్ డాక్టర్ ఆర్కే జైన్ ఫర్ ఎ వండర్ఫుల్ షో అండ్ వీఆర్ ఈక్వలీ థ్యాంక్ఫుల్ టు ఆల్ ద కొలీగ్స్ అక్రాస్ ద కంట్రీ ఇన్ స్పైట్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టాఫ్ టైమ్స్ మేడ్ ఇట్ టు హైదరాబాద్ అండ్ మేడ్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ సక్సెస్ ఐ వాజ్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద సెషన్స్ ఇన్ డే వన్ డే టూ and uh, the first day what the session in which we were chairing had interesting talks on a low contrast pci or uh, no contrast pci where in the increasing uh, scenarios of complex comorbidities uh, we have conquered uh, the patients of ckd going into pci where dr ramesh dagupati described uh, various techniques uh, in using saline and also uh, using the various types of wires and imaging modalities of intravascular ultrasound where uh, complex procedures even up to left main and triple vessel disease can be managed uh, with uh, using no contrast or low contrast and recently the interest of imaging of oct also with saline was discussed and thus uh, we have another interesting uh, concept which is coming up with uh, zero contrast and low contrast pci which was dis- uh, detailedly discussed uh, in this meeting another interesting session we had was on uh, tavr a uh, new interest has come to all the colleagues of the country now this is a interesting procedure life saving procedure in severe heart failure patients who are elsewhere dying now with the 14 french uh, catheter through the groin we take the valve and deploy it there uh, and then patient immunity improved dramatically and the tips and tricks uh, how to deal with this uh, case scenarios were discussed and uh, dr ramesh also told uh, how to tackle this in a patient of bioprosthetic valve degeneration Uh, where repeat surgery is risky as we know and then uh, the vinny bapert's app of uh, uh, valve in valve helps us in uh, selecting the valve size and appropriately if patients are done well these two patients uh, do very well on follow up so this is another new modality of uh, therapy which has come up for such sick patients who are elsewhere not fit for surgery and we are also now wiser that uh, with the tavi picking up in our country we do this procedure even for uh, low risk patients and probably in future a day might come where uh, you know, after a particular age like 65 years or so the patient is not fit for tavi then only probably he would go for surgical aortic valve replacement but we need to time the procedures of surgical avr versus uh, tavr very well so that in the lifetime the patient uh, may need to undergo surgery only once and if required maybe tavr procedure can be done uh, twice in his lifetime right from 60s to late uh, 80s and uh, this was discussed about uh, tavr uh, what the talk i delivered was on an interesting concept of a, uh, of a, uh, balancing out the bleeding and uh, ischemic risks in patients of post pci coronary artery disease and atrial fibrillation now that we know that uh, novax have come into day to day practice and a lot of interest is generated in this uh, talk we reviewed uh, the data which came up in the uh, past Uh, like pioneer af trial and a radial pci trial which showed that novax uh, perform better compared uh, to traditional warfarin uh, there is increasing safety at the same time without uh, compromisation on the efficacy and uh, later on we also became wiser now that in high risk bleeding subgroup patients uh, even usage of this molecule could sometimes lead to bleeding that's how we are gradually coming off uh, to a concept of whether we can withdraw one of the dual antiplatelet drugs and probably the data with master drap trial which just got uh, presented uh, showed that uh, stopping aspirin in the long run along with some of the resolute onix clear trial and things like that showed the stoppage of one of these uh, dapt drugs uh, did not uh, decrease the safety but at the same time decreased bleeding significantly that's how these patients uh, were doing well on the follow up so in, to conclude the patients of cad post pci if they have atrial fibrillation probably after the initial one week to one month period of uh, dapt plus a novac especially the low dose novac probably and then uh, we tend to stop one of the dapt agents probably aspirin and uh, give uh, clopidogrel and a novac and then after uh, 12 months then we tend to give only novac uh, could be sufficient in these patients because they have become like a chronic coronary artery disease patient and the patients of chronic coronary syndromes uh, in of the newer uh, data of a low dose of rivaroxaban was also discussed in detail and all the do- delegates appreciated this aspect of usage of these molecules even in chronic coronary artery disease 
uh, thank you again. I congratulate uh, CSI and uh, all, thanks for the opportunity.